Yo guys, welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Adventure Island 4. You were wondering what am I doing heading back to the first cave? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Now that we got the water gun, we can pretty much get this power up. So let's do that first. In fact, we're supposed to go up here anyway. Like, no, no wait, not here. A little bit further we gotta go up. Let's take care of some business first. No, it's up here you gotta go to get to the crystal caves. Yeah, careful with the water drops. They actually do hurt you. Yeah, you can swim in water, but if a drop of water touches your hat, you lose health. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, fucking Dracula bat again. I hate you. I'm going up here now. Just so I can get this. Time to jump carefully. Perfect. I got half a heart. And somewhere in the crystal cave area, or the crystal mine area. <coughs> excuse me. You can find the other half. Alright. Get a little bit more help so I can refill that heart again. It would be a bit embarrassing if I was down to one heart and I got killed because a drop of water touched me. Can you imagine if I actually died from water touching the top of my head? If that ain't bullshit, I don't know what is. Aw, oh, I didn't have enough. Okay, good. Now I'm at full health anyway. A mini boss, a giant jellyfish. It moves around the exact same way as it does the normal jellyfish do. Maybe like an extra added movement pattern. Instead of Blue Buddy, I got the Pterodactyl with me this time. Just in case I need him for later. Like in certain caves where I have to make tricky jumps just to get power-ups. I can just cheat and use the Pterodactyl instead. Alright, now I got the big hammer. I think that may be an axe, I don't know. Basically what I need, that's the only thing I need to actually get to the crystal area. There we go. Let's put it to good use right now. Alright, let's take out this ripoff of the Final Fantasy crystal and move on. Alright, now we're in the crystal area. Ah, stupid flies. They'll piss you off the most. If you're gonna need the umbrella or can use pterodactyl buddy too. That, that also works. But this is what you need if you didn't bring them along or if you brought them along and he took a hit. Uh, let's see if I can find the other half of the heart. If I can, that's great. I might as well kill a fly first before I bring him out. Okay, you've done enough. I'd rather have him for reserves in case I do take a hit. Or when I get around here. Yeah, I'm gonna cheat! And I got the other half. Okay, get back in my ass. Good to know I got six hearts now. That should really prepare you for later bosses. Woohoo, I almost landed on that spiky snail. That wouldn't have been good for my ass either. Even though having a few dino buddies in my ass is pretty good. Oh, I forgot that platform sinks. Fuck using the umbrella. Yeah, okay, that's good enough. I can make this jump on my own. Oh, 
I already killed it. Whatever. Sweet! I ran a grease! Bet y'all win! Oh, we'll see about that. Let's do this thing! Basically, hold it, and you keep tapping it to go as fast as you can, and then you gotta use the B button to jump. Not even close, motherfucker! Oh, wait. Okay, good. Yeah, he didn't finish! But he didn't finish, uh -huh. What does the J stand for? Eh, whatever. You may pass! Don't ask what J stands for, asshole! We don't know either! Oh, wait, 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 now I get it. J stands for Jackrabbit. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. It just came through the top of my head, so maybe Jackrabbit. Good thing I was using my head. I might as well use a parasol. Well, wait a minute, I don't need it. Actually, I wouldn't be able to use it anyway. I can't go that high. Let's move onwards, Master Higgins. The fourth boss awaits. Oh, come on. I couldn't get the fruit either. Going up here? Is this the right way? Well, I might as well go this way now. I don't think it hurts. Ooh, -hoo. almost took a hit. I could have grabbed that fruit too, but there was a fly in the vicinity, so I was like, you know, fuck it. I'd just rather dodge. Found a little bit of fruit. I mean, game one hard back before we fight the boss. There we go. Die that. Die stupid Mighty Moore ripoff. Oh, I forgot there was a stalactite there. Okay, time to fight this boss. This one's a little tricky because it actually has a core. Meaning you can't just go attacking it by directly. Position yourself really carefully because that crystal is always going to come down on you right where you're standing. So it'd be a good idea to position yourself in a good spot where you know you're going to dodge the attack. Like what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I got him! Boss dead it is. Okay, who am I going to save this time? I believe it's the purple buddy, like the swimmer. Alright, get out of here! Thank you for saving me! Here, take this! I believe that's a surfboard. Yeah, that's what it is. It's very useless on normal land, but as long as you're on water, you can use it. Surfing in the U.S. Oh wait, this ain't USA. Yeah, this is all it is. Like, you'd think to be with a few jumps there now and then, but no. Okay. Even though you're hot and all, we're gonna be sleeping in slept separate rooms. I mean, we had like seven kids since New Adventure Island for the Turtle Revenant 16, therefore... I don't wanna get my tombstone, neither do you, therefore we're sleeping in separate rooms. So fuck you, bitch. Anyways, I'm gonna stop right here. In the next part, we're gonna go to World 5, which is a cloud area, and it's also a desert area, too. So stay tuned for that. Actually, I'm going to make a little bit of distance and then we'll start it off. And I believe it's up here. So I'll see you later, everyone.